For you guys who are getting a sleep study every five years just to get your supplies through your insurance company, through a national CPAP supplier, you guys are getting scammed. I'm going to tell you about this scam and you need to be questioning your doctors, you need to be questioning the system we're in because this is becoming more and more common. It's frustrating for myself, it's frustrating for you guys who have high copays, high deductibles, and you guys are wasting your money. So stay tuned because I'm going to get right into this. Okay guys, so before we get into the five year scam, let's get into where this all came about. So oftentimes it was recommended that people go for a sleep study every five years. When this was recommended in our industry, the machines didn't have the capabilities of having apps on your phone where you could upload data to tell you, you know, how bad your mask leak was. Uh, how bad your AHI or how many events you're having per hour. If you guys are having less than five, that's perfectly normal. And um, those machines didn't have that capability. For instance, when I first got set up on CPAP in about 2010, 2011, I was set on a pressure of eight and a half. And as of today, I'm on a pressure of 14 and a half because as the years have gone by, uh, my apneas have gotten worse and worse and there are many doctors who are willing to work with patients to up their pressure without them going for another sleep test. The world we live in 2019 you guys probably have high co-pays, high deductibles, insurance is getting worse and worse for all of us. I myself have a $2,000 deductible and it's better off if I pay for things out of pocket when it comes to medical supplies, when it comes to goods and services and also if I'm going to be tweaking my CPAP pressure, it's much cheaper, it's much better to go to your primary care doctor than go for, for a complete sleep test. So let's get into the, the five year scam and how it works. I call it a dirty backdoor referral. How this dirty backdoor referral works is, let's take a hypothetical sleep lab, let's call it sleep lab A, right? And all their patients get referred out, let's say to 10, different DMEs, okay? And let's say out of those 10 DMEs, you have two or three reps who um, work with their offices and in order to make their quotas, in order for them to maybe get the sleep lab to send them more referrals, they might go to a manager, they might go to a director and say, listen, on year five, we will cut off patient supplies through insurance for CPAP and tell them they, we can't resupply them anymore until they go back to you for another sleep test. It doesn't matter if your sleep study is five years old, 10 years old, 20, 30, it could be a, a 30 year old sleep study. Commercial CPAP's only been around since the mid 80s. So even if you have one of the very first sleep studies, that's all you guys need to get it covered under most insurances. This five year scam is so the sleep labs make money. It goes back and forth, back and forth, right? Here's another little twist to this dirty backdoor referral process is that 50% of patients are non-compliant with CPAP. So this hypothetical sleep lab, sleep lab A we'll call it, right? Needs his patients to have machines, needs his patients to have reasons for follow-up visits. So what is the easiest way to get these people in much more volume to make their doctor's appointments? For them to keep their CPAP machines. Well, guess what? As you guys know, if you guys have gone through insurance, it's a 10-month rental to a 13-month rental. And if you guys are non-compliant, you can't get the CPAP machine. You gotta either bring it back or pay for it. And most people who are non-compliant are bringing back that CPAP machine. And the same thing with supplies. You guys cannot get supplies unless you are compliant with your CPAP machine. So what happens is Sleep Lab A tells this national billion dollar company, let's hypothetically, let's call it national company B, right? Calls them and says, you have to start waiving co-pays. You have to start waiving deductibles. My patient is being charged for this. My patient is being charged for that. We need you to waive it. We need you to forgive the debt, right? Waiving co-pays with Medicare and insurance is fraud. 100% I've seen it firsthand in my industry. How do we stop this? Well, number one, by bringing it to light, I'm trying to bring it to you guys, 
And you guys are doing an unbelievable job because where I was five years ago with the education and people being proactive about their supplies and how it works and how the whole system works uh, is night and day. I mean, you guys are challenging the system. The sleep labs are struggling right now. They can't get you guys for those five-year studies. They can't get you guys in for those follow-ups um, like they used to. So you guys are doing a phenomenal job. But the way we stop this is to cut off the quotas and the bonuses that are put on these doctors, that are put on these managers, that are put on the staff to drive up sales. Because if you have quotas and at the end of the day you need a paycheck, guess what? You're going to be at number one, you're either going to be out of a job, or number two, you're going to commit fraud. So it leaves that door open. You need to get rid of the quotas. You need to get rid of the bonus structure. And doctors have made the argument to me saying, well, Rich, if there is no bonus structure, there's no incentive for me to work there. You're not going to get good doctors. You're going to get crappy doctors. You're going to get crappy PAs. You're going to get crappy nurse practitioners. And that's bogus. I don't buy into that because I'm going to tell you that the number one hospital in the entire world is the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic does not run quotas or run bonuses of any kind out of their facility. Okay? Most doctors who work there work there for number one, a pay cut, and number two, they work there out of the passion of helping other people. When I came into this industry, I took a pay cut because I got into healthcare because I wanted to help people. I know a lot of doctors, I know a lot of nurse practitioners, I know a lot of PAs that got into this industry for the same thing. It's time that the system changes. Laws have to be passed in this country for especially, number one, nonprofit hospitals, paying out bonuses. So if there's no bonus, if there's no structure, you and your doctor and or your sleep lab are gonna have a real conversation like you and I are having right now where there's no incentive on either end. If I have to spend a half hour with you or if I have to spend an hour and a half with you, it's not gonna matter because I'm going to get the same paycheck week after week, but at the same token, I can stay true to who I am as a healthcare professional and that's where healthcare needs to go. It's getting scarier and scarier where this industry is going. I'm going to leave it at that. That's a, that's a preview. I am I'm working on a documentary for YouTube. I have a, uh, a creator who's going to be producing it with me. We're going to be exposing this industry in depth uh, for what it is in the past five years, everything that I've gone through. Um, I have a lot to say. I have a lot to talk about. And I want to bring this stuff out to public because you guys have been educated. Challenge any provider that tells you that you do need one in order to get your supplies through insurance. Challenge anybody who tells you if the five-year mark is up, you need to go. Ask them why. Ask them absolutely why you have to go. You're your best own advocate. You need to advocate for your family members. You cannot trust the system that we're in. All it is is big business. It feels no different than going to a car dealership and shopping for a car. What payments, what extended warranties I have to take. I feel like the healthcare industry, unfortunately, is going has gone in that direction. It's getting worse and worse. If you guys like the video, please hit like, please hit subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming up. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and uh, sleep well.